Welcome to the second part of Wellbeing Wednesday. Um, and if you've got this far, you know that we're going to talk about our balls today. Um, and we're also going to talk about my shoulder, which um, is uncomfortable sometimes, cracks a lot. Um, and Kaz, bless you, has got some answers for me. Yes. So shoulder pain, I see, I see shoulder pain a lot. Shoulder pain a lot because, you know, so many of us work at the desk now. Mm -hmm. And that's not something we can change because it pays the mortgage. So people are like, oh, well, you know, how do I make the shoulders better? So it's understanding that your shoulder isn't um, isn't a singular part of you. Yeah. So it's connected to the back of your head mm -hmm. and it's connected to the base of your spine. So when you're sitting at the desk, the head goes forward. Um, and if you have a look at, I think it's on my Instagram and on the LinkedIn, I think with the fuzzy focus and sharp focus, mm -hmm. that explains why your head goes forward, why it comes back into the gravity line. And that deeply affects your shoulder. Um, but also for those of us that have had any kind of car altercation, we'll call it that. <laughs> like that. <laughs> Anything like that. So when either we're hit from the side or hit from the front or you've been hit in the rear, whichever it is, we get this, you know, we call this the whiplash. Yes. And whilst it affects the neck vertebrae, it deeply affects the, the back of the shoulders. Mm. So your shoulder blade should be floating in the back of your body and should slide up, slide down, slide in, slide out. I know most of us be there going, no, I'm not sure that's completely the case. <laughs> <laughs> but how do we get in there when we can't massage it for ourselves? Yeah. And this is where the golf ball comes in. So it's understanding that your hand, the palm of your hand, connects to the muscles on the inside of your forearm, inside of um, the upper arm, and then across into your chest and down into your pubic bone. The back of your hand goes up the back of your arm into your shoulder into these big muscles on the back and then all the way down into the back of the body. So with that in mind, we've got an interface. All so right. if you golf ball roll the into your hand, it releases all the muscles in your shoulder and in the side of your neck. Now I've got my mat, but you can do this at your desk. Which is what I'm going to do this morning. Makes it really good. And you can do this. If there's a really boring Zoom meeting going on and you're sat there and you're on mute and there's not much going on <laughs> You can surreptitiously golf ball roll under the the line without anybody seeing you. Yeah, yeah, I can see how that's going to work. <laughs> so there you go, alleviate boredom. <laughs> so if you put both hands on the desk flat to start with, and spread the fingers, and then just slide the shoulder blade up towards your ear and down, and then slide the other shoulder blade up and back down just notice how that slide and glide feels maybe one feels different to the other that's quite normal as well because we've got a dominant and non-dominant side i can bore you to death with that one so we, we won't go there today. <laughs> <laughs> so you just feel what's going on in the back of the body for yourself and then we're just going to take the right hand I'm going to use my left because it's closest, but we're going to take the right hand and you can feel the end of your forearm bone in the heel of your hand. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to roll around that to start with. You don't need a lot of pressure. It's the same when I do golf ball rolling for the feet. We don't need to stand on the golf ball. And... Mm. Yeah, it's, it's gentle because the, the old no pain, no gain thing is, is complete rubbish. You know, we can affect the tissues all the way up into the body with, with just the really gentle touch. So we go round and round a couple of times, and then we're gonna go down, long little finger side. We're interested in the palm of the hand, where the root of the fingers is, or the root of the fingers are. And then we go through the knuckle, and then just down to the fingertip, and then back to the heel of the hand. And then we're gonna go in between little finger and middle finger, ring finger sorry and then down to the end of the ring finger and then back again and then then that places the ball in the center point of the heel of the hand and we're going to go straight down the middle so you'll feel the the muscles either side of the deep root of the fingers you might find this a little bit crunchy you might find it's a little bit tight 
but that's okay because it's just like kneading out the bread dough we just take our time here so we go down the middle finger we're coming back into the uh, into the middle finger, index finger and thumb. And these tissues, you might find if you're right side dominant, if this is your dominant hand, you might find that there's a difference in the stiffness to the muscles from the outside of the hand to the inside, because we use this inside part of the hand much, much more. Mm. You know, mostly for like picking up tea and coffee and cake. And other interesting and other nice things. Other nice things. So then we get into the root of the thumb. And again, this is where it can get a bit bit crunchy, a little bit funky in here. Yeah, mine is. Because this part is directly connected to here. So top of the shoulder, into the side of the neck, into behind your ear. And that's where we hold a lot of tension if we desk sit. So you go really gently. It's very technical. We just squish around in the squishy bit. <laughs> I like that. Super That's the kind of technical right. stuff I can do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> squishy, squishy. And then you find the thumb and we're going to roll down to the end of the thumb and then back again. And then we're going to take the hands onto the desk again. Let your jaw come into the back of your head a little bit. And then just feel sliding the shoulders up and down and just notice if there's now a big difference between one side and the other. Yeah. You should feel that one side moves up and down much, much easier. Yeah. Oh, that's really weird. In a good way. <laughs> it's magic. There you go. Body magician. <laughs> and what you do is actually it, it affects the tissues all the way down the side of the ribs, all the way down the back here as well. Now we don't feel those as much, but it changes the way that we we're going to go back to the cake analogy again. <laughs> when we get the cake out of the cupboard. Uh -huh. the coffee out of the cupboard we start to move from here a little bit more because we tend to be if we're at the desk this is a bit sleepy yeah and a bit stiff so the golf ball helps us do that so we're not going to leave you lopsided if we've got time which is very quickly do the other side so we're going to go around the heel of the hand you can feel the end of the bone and then we go down the long little finger side And then back to the heel of the hand. And then just working through the hand. And it is for you, it's quite intuitive. It's, it's feeling, so there'll be a significant difference between the two sides. You can feel that when you're golf ball rolling. You know, one hand is quite stiff and tight. The dominant hand's definitely more muscular. So we have to work with that. Whereas the, the non-dominant hand tends to be a little bit softer, a little bit more receptive to what we're doing. We don't have to do as much work. But it's finding those sticky bits for you because each part of each sticky bit that you find in the palm corresponds with a, a, a slide and glide of a muscle up in your shoulder. And the shoulders are complex. You know, there's a lot of muscles up in there. It's a complex, a complex excuse for a ball and socket joint. You know, the hip socket's just your bog standard ball and socket joint. This one's ball and socket, but the, the socket is made up of muscles. Yeah. So it needs a little bit more work. It's a little bit more complex. So, but this is a really quick and easy way. If you've got shoulder and neck pain, um, you know, this is a really quick and easy way just to just to knock that out and help it to feel a little bit better. Yeah. Hopefully it should be into your thumb by now. You no, know, I absolutely yeah. love that. And it, it's something that, like you say, you can sit and do when you're on a Zoom call, even okay. sort of sit and do when you're having a cup of tea. Just just it's absolutely amazing. Um, and obviously people can get more tips on Instagram. Um, thank you. Gravity technique there. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. Um, and now we all know why Kaz is called the body magician. Um, so yeah, catch up with Kaz on Instagram and your website soon to come. It is. It is. Excellent. It's it's so, exciting. Exciting. so that's really exciting. So and when that does come, we'll, um, we'll I'll stick a post on Wellbeing Wednesday just uh, so everybody can catch up with the website, too. Thank you so much for your time, Kez. Thank you. Um, so and have a lovely day, everyone. Take care.